Right, ladies and gentlemen, our first big title fight of the night is for the flyweight kickboxing title over five two-minute rounds of action as sponsored by Hajami Specialists and Legal Mortgage Challenge. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing the Evolution Gym in Coventry, Adrian Parnescu. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, representing Crescent MMA in Watford, Rahan Hussein. Five two-minute rounds for the flyweight kickboxing title. Panescu in the blue, Hussein in the red. So our first big title fight of the evening, five two-minute rounds for the flyweight kickboxing title. Adrian Ponescu from the Evolution Gym in Coventry in the blue. Rahan Hussein from Crescent MMA Watford in the red. And it's Hussein that comes forward with the kicks. Two straight, one side kick, then the big booming left hand. Ponescu staying tight and composed. Straight left from that southpaw stance from Hussein and he's the man setting the pace at the moment Panesco having a good look and chucking up but Hussein working those kicks then the timing in the kick retaliation from Panescu and a short left right as he comes forward left and right in response and a right low kick from Hussein Both men look for the Superman punch. Panesco looking to come forward, but nice sideways movement from Hussein. Spin kick to the inside of the leg from Panescu. Nice pace to this opening round. Nice and even as well. Good tight technique. Solid left hand, knee, and another one from Panescu. Takes a left in reply from Hussein. And away they go again. Chopping kick again from Hussein. Little stamp to the leg as well. And then Panescu replies. Looks for the knee blocked by Hussein. And away they go once more. Good opening round from both men. Chopping little kick from Hussein, but Panescu comes back strongly. It's a very good opening round there. Two very confident young men, both good with their kicks, their movement, both happy to trade punches, both showboating a little bit against the other. So a very even opening round and very difficult for the judges to decide, but they've got four more. So they're just settling their way into this bout, but it looks very promising indeed from the opening round. So round two, and Panesco keen to close the gap. Side kick from Hussein as he comes forward. Front push kick from Panescu. The way they go once more. Panesco backed up as Hussein comes in. Spins but doesn't throw the kick. And again, Panesco looking to come forward this time in the boxing. Both men throw the knees at the same time. Panesco says a groin shot. Hussein agrees. And away they go. 
Hussein looks to close the gap, but the knee... And these two men doing a very good job of negating each other in the best possible way. Sometimes styles clash and they negate ugly. These two are using their skills to stop the attacks of the opponent. Good skillful work between the two of them here, making it hard for either man to get through really cleanly. And again, chopping leg kicks and the big right hand for Ponescu. Looks to work the body on the end of those two head shots. Hussein replies immediately and the knee attempt from Ponescu. Left and right from Hussein as he comes forward. Spins, doesn't throw the kick but throws the knee. And Ponescu replies with the same immediately. It's been that sort of bout. Mirror images of each other, these two. And again, good defensive work as they clinch in tight. The referee will split them once more. So last 10 seconds and again, very tough round for the judges here. From push kick from Hussein as Pinesco comes in. Two rounds down and you've got two very skillful men, good defensively, good attacking. So they're tending to negate each other out. It doesn't make it that it's not exciting. It just means that neither scoring very cleanly because both have good defensive qualities and very similar styles, which after two rounds makes it very difficult for the judges to really clearly score, I feel, for either man. So three of five, very close bout indeed. Panescu looks to cross the ring, but Hussein's good defensively, so this is the trouble for either man. They can't get ahead of steam up and really dominate around at the moment. And again, as you saw there, the low kick exchange, the movement from both men, they are mirror images. It makes it very difficult for a judge to say, yes, he really took this round. Side kick attempt there again from Hussein, blocked by Panescu. Oh, that one wasn't, though, the best shot of the night so far. Mirror image, as I said, and Panescu did exactly the same as Hussein, but his sidekick landed right to the midsection. That can be a fight-stopping shot. It can be a title-winning shot. Hussein is in trouble now from that mirror image sidekick. And Panesco looks for the knee and looks to come steaming in now. And then the right hand catches Hussein. Defensive battle now. This bat turned on its head from a spinning sidekick there. One that missed, the other that landed. So here we go again. How much has Hussein recovered from that sidekick? As Panescu comes through the channel now, forging forward. Chopping low kick, then the hands high. They want the knee to the midsection. They want to test that body again. Here comes the right and left knee. And Hussein looks for the left hand to stop his man. And away they go again. And Panesco, you saw there, just went to turn and spin. Looks for it again. This time he goes down once more. And you could see Panescu setting it up there. You could see the feint with the hips. He shimmied the hips twice. Then when he's back against the ropes, so he has to take the full impact, that's when he throws it. So he, there's no cushioning there. He has to absorb the whole impact. And that's where he's getting the count now. Big, big round for Panesco with these side kicks. Now Hussein fighting for his life here now with those left hands, looking for a big shot, an equaliser. But has to eat the knees for Panescu. Spins again, but this time just out of range. Last 10 seconds of a round Panesco has been in total control of. <laughs> wow, round three was about the spinning sidekick. Hussein missed with his one. Panescu landed cleanly with his first attempt. Hussein got up from it, continued from it, but right towards the end of the round, Panescu waited again until his man was against the ropes, again against the corner post. So he has to absorb the full impact, then sinks in a second spinning sidekick to get a big count. So the third round is a huge round in favour of the blue corner when the first two rounds were so tight. Four of five. 
And Panesco will look to test Hussein again, you feel. Big right hand as Hussein comes forward. And Panesco, you feel, will look to spin again, given the opportunity. Walking Hussein down. Hussein bursts forward with the three punch combination. He needs a big ground. He, and there's the spin again. And the referee saying it wasn't the groin. And now Panesco comes flying in once more. Hussein looks for the sweep as he catches the knee. Takes the short kick to land the right hand. Does Panescu. Spins again. Got to set them up. The right hand comes over the top. Hussein fighting well defensively again. Checked this time his low kick by Panescu. Looks for the jumping knee. Hussein lands it. Spin this time from Hussein. Panescu looking for that right hand as he sets it up with the left. Short left hand from Hussein. He's recovered well this round. At least had a share of it. Left hand of Panescu lands though. And then the big right. As Hussein comes forward looking to bring this back in. Beautiful knee to the midsection from Hussein. He's done well here. And Panescu felt that one. And a nice kick to the midsection again from Hussein. Good finish to this round from the man in the red corner. So, left hand from Hussein. I thought Hussein came back in round four very well. It was back and forwards, back and forwards. But at key moments, Hussein found the strikes and that knee hurt his opponent. I don't think he realised how much. Panescu actually stepped back and held his stomach for a moment there. So he's come right back in this Hussein. And if he can do the same in the fifth, you never know a big eight count for him or even a stoppage. We'll see with one last round for this flyweight title. So fifth and final round and a good front push kick from Hussein as Panescu came forward. And Hussein inside leg kick replied by Panescu and both men starting to trade heavily now they know there's still plenty to fight for with this belt side kick again from Hussein pushing forward once more looks for the knee does Panescu and away they go chopping little kick from Hussein and the left hand lands from the man done well to come back here as I said Big knee, though, from Panescu as Hussein came forward. Little low leg kick, then the left and right hands from Hussein. Panescu tight guard and looks to throw as Hussein chops forward with that right leg. Panescu returns to the lead leg of Hussein. Hussein looking to pile on the pressure. He's come back well from that third round in rounds four. And here comes round five now with both men knowing this title could go either way. Hussein looks for the left leg kick, then the side kick. Nice little left hand from Hussein, and then the midsection kick as Panescu came forward. Nice work on the inside with the punches from Hussein. Then the side kick as well. Last 10 seconds. He's come back into this bout really well. And can make a call for him in this fifth round as well, the way he's come back so strongly. All credit to Hussein here. Now that was an excellent, excellent title fight between two very good men indeed. And very close, very similar style. I think the key to this whole bout and title will be the counts that Panescu got for the spinning sidekicks. I think that's the difference between the two men. And that's why I think the belt will probably be going to the blue corner. But it was a great title bout between two really good fighters. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree. Two incredible fighters in this ring. Five hard, hard rounds of action.
for the flyweight title bout. And these men have taken us to a split decision. But that decision and the flyweight belt goes around the waist of the man from the blue corner, Adrian Panescu.